Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this video is regarding the admit card which is updated by CSIR UGC net. So what you have to do is you have to come to this official website. I will give you link of this website in the description of this video. So you can directly come up to this particular website and here in the candidate activity, uh, the third link is to download the admit card for CSIR UGC net June 2022 examination. Once you click on this, it will ask that you are going to be redirected to external website just select yes for this and then you will be taken to this page where you have to fill two things one is your application number and the second thing is your date of birth once you fill these two things you will be able to download your admit card uh, let me quickly fill it and let me show you how the admit card looks and what are the things which you have to take care of again one more thing very important just like we have filled for the city intimation form in the same way uh, while filling the date of birth you have to take care that you are first filling the years then month and then the date okay so the format is yyyy mm and dd okay so this is how you have to fill so let me quickly show you how it looks okay once you log in it says that welcome your name will be written and click below to download the admit card uh, csr ugc net so once you click on this button you will be able to download it so this is how it looks so this is how your admit card is going to look uh, it will contain all the information which you have put on your roll number will be there application number name uh, father's name every detail is over here then your photograph and signature is there just do check that everything is correct or not your date of birth is correct or not uh, your uh, like your name spelling and all the things whether these things are correct or not then um, like if you come down here is the test men, uh, like the venue for the test okay so just check it out where whatever place you have got your um, your uh, like center for examination and uh, here is a self declaration undertaking okay so now this thing is something which you have to take care of so here you have to fill your name once you take out the printout then you have to do all these things you have to fill your name resident of here you have to fill your address you hereby declare the following thing first that you have read all the instruction guidelines relevant for the government of India. Okay, I'll just zoom it up a little bit. Okay, it's related to the pandemic. Uh, then the second thing is that you don't have fever and all in the past 14 days. So just make uh, the following flu like symptoms you don't have. Okay, so it says that in the past 14 days, please tick whatever is applicable to you. So if you do not have any fever, cough, body ache, anything, don't tick anything. Okay, you don't have to tick anything in this. It says being in close contact with the person uh, for 15 minutes. Uh, just don't do anything. Okay, just don't tick here. Don't do don't tick or do anything here. Not being in close contact with the person suffering from. So here you have to uh, and I'm and I'm not under mandatory quarantine here. You have to tick that you are not under mandatory quarantine then travel the following cities. So in case if you are traveling for another cities to uh, city to give the exam. In that case, we have to fill the name of the cities from where to where you are traveling and on what dates you are traveling. Okay, uh, the health and well-being of our commodity uh, community is our priority. Uh, therefore, the center reserves the right to deny entry for the premises. So, all these are declaration. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, at the end here you have to do. Now, uh, this thing, uh, these things which are over here, which is candidates photo. Same as uploaded on the application form to be affixed before reaching the center. So you, here you have to fix your photograph already before reaching the exam center. You should fix, you should paste your photograph over here. And photograph should be similar to what you have uploaded in the application form. Then here is candidate's left hand impression. Okay, and this needs to be affixed before reaching the center again. That means you have to put your left hand impression uh, before reaching the exam center again. And here it says candidate signature to be signed on the day examination in presence of invigilator. So this part you don't have to do anything. You have to leave blank. In the presence of invigilator, you have to sign over there. Rest of the things are uh, like rest of the things are already here on the screen. So you don't have to worry about it. These are the only things which you have to take care of. Now coming down, there are important instructions for the candidate. And all the things are written over here. Just the usual uh, like instruction. Nothing special about it. So yeah, this is your admit card and then advisory for candidate regarding COVID-19. These are all the different things regarding COVID-19 which they have given. Okay. So yeah, don't have to worry about anything as such. But uh, there are few things which I want to say in this video. First, uh, CSIR NTA, uh, like I don't know why, but they are so, 
so irresponsible uh, first of all they have conducted the ex this exam in a hurry okay uh, believe me or not but this exam is being conducted in a hurry okay they are just doing it somehow okay first thing second thing is because of their negligence so many students are going to suffer why because yesterday itself i posted i tweeted about it on uh, twitter that uh, many students are getting center apart from their centers oh, and this is happening because the reason is because on 18th we have upsc mains we have ssc chsl and all so many exams are happening in this on this 18th okay and that's why uh, csir net chemistry students are suffering because the csir net chemistry exam is on 18th right so that is what is happening and, and and that's why they do not get the centers out of everywhere and that's why they are giving centers uh, to the fourth or or out of fourth okay that's that's what they are doing and especially uh, in the guwahati and uh, and assam region so in that region students are suffering more as per what i have got to know till now um, what we can do now one thing is we can keep tweeting about it we can keep mailing about it i am calling i am mailing from my personal uh, like email and all so i'm doing from my side if i get any response i'll let you guys know first thing second thing is if nothing happens try to attend the exam if it is possible for you okay if, if it is possible for you to travel and attend the exam please do that uh, that's that's the only thing which we can do right now okay because um, i know it's 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 irresponsibility of nt and csir but we can't keep blaming the others for uh, the things uh, sometimes uh, situation are odd in for us but we have to you know manage according to it so um, that's the only thing i can say to motivate you uh, to get through it and i know it's difficult uh, it's difficult being done than being said but still uh, if possible please do that because after like after six months or after one year nobody is going to listen to you that uh, you didn't give exam because nta did irresponsible or or nta uh, was irresponsible for it okay people will blame you only that okay you didn't give exam because you didn't prepared well or you were not willing to give exam this is the harsh reality and we have to accept that okay so please uh, get motivated about it and uh, if it is possible please do give exam and tweets mail calls all these things i am doing from my side as well keep doing that as well if it is possible uh, if if nta listens to is, us maybe maybe something is possible that we can get uh, another uh, chance to change our exam center but for now this is the reality we have to accept that so that's it from my side for this particular video if you have anything to say anything to ask you can ask in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and uh, i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care Hey guys, so I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here I teach for the CSIR UGC net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes, you have to take Unacademy Plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the Unacademy Plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take an Academy Plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.